Greetings, everybody. This is Sabin Dimitrov, a.k.a. Against for the Astral Wolf, and it is a pleasure to have you guys here for my next video. So, anyway... There we go. I was able to get a hold of a crap ton of, uh, of, uh, gift packs because, uh, there were codes for them. So now we get to enjoy a crazy amount of delicious goodness. There you go, see? Oh, interesting. This works a lot, lot like Gmail. Alright. So now, we have a lot of yum yum goodness. <clears throat> Technology? There we go. Get some little bit of extra goodness right there. Now, let's see... Wait, wait hold on a second. But, uh, yeah. Now we're going to have a lot of really yummy items that we're going to be uh, getting as soon as I get this. Let's go over here, see what we got here. The giant werewolf dude. Hunting. Feral beast bounty. Oh, okay. Then that's uh challenge this bad boy and give him a good old good old Fist punching. There we go. Alright, so we did 27,425 damage. Twenty-nine thousand, yuck. Twenty-seven thousand. Wait, wait, uh, Interesting, okay. So, the best we can get is near 30,000 for this. So, that's not too bad. Let's go over here. Claim these bad boys. There we go. Go over here. Claim this. There we go. Go over here. Claim that bad boy. Okay. There we go. Let's just quickly grab this bad boy. Scroll on down. Claim that. We got ten of these and six of these. Oh wait, recruit. We got ten of these? Alright. And then... Ten of these. All right, we got that cute wolfie there. We got six of these. Beautiful. And we got eight of these bad boys. All right. Now, let's see all the yum yum goodness we got. So, as you guys can see, these are all the new items that we got within a couple minutes. So, if we hit use all, we can see everything that we're going to get. 120,000 experience... Uh, 1,200, uh, diamonds and 7,200, uh, star thingies. We got ourselves a decent chunk of these bad boys, uh, speed ups. And we got ourselves a couple resource supply chests. 
Oh, and we also got ourselves a couple legendary hero fragments. I'd say let's get Yelena. There you go. Now we have a total of three of them. Daily login? Exactly. Yummy. All right. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys those really cool re reward thingies that we got now. Beautiful. Now, let's uh, just quickly grab all our goodness. I'll show you guys a couple really cool ways that we can, uh, you know, uh, break the system to be a little more effective with us. So, you guys know how we have to kill 30 of these floating creatures here? Well, what we can do is that we first attack these. And I'll show you what's going to happen in just a moment. So, you know, you see how there's no, no there's none of them left, right? What we do is we do uh, Shouty Gaster, the one with the little bat with the crosshair. We click on that. And it'll automatically get three new ones up here. Now, let's do that again. I don't know why the game doesn't, you know, register a tap sometimes, but... There we are. So then we, we can just keep keep on clicking Shadowgaster, and it automatically, uh... Uh, gives us a little bit of a... Well, that was quick, there we go. That gives us a big benefit on being able to get this done super quick. Lots of bullets. You see? Oh, that's kind of cool. You click on him. You see uh, at the top of the screen? Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. When we kill them, I'll show you. There's a little progress bar that pops up. So this is a quick way to get yourself rewards and stuff. There we go. So that way you can uh, get lots of yum yums. Alright, just a few more and we're going to be all set. Oh. Then we, we, what we can do is we, we, we go with the grail. And then we go to this little thing at the bottom left, which says 30 out of 30. We click on that. Claim all these bad boys. And now, we have, have the, that beautiful wolf, level 7. Look at that. Doesn't that, that, that look awesome? We are now level 8 Grey Wolf Protection. Which is big for us. So now uh, we got that Shadow Gaster thing all done real freaking quick. So as long as you figure out, you know, which of the following ways does not provide a lion's score? Resource aid. There we go. That usually doesn't uh, do anything for the resource things. There we go. We're looking great now. This bad boy is going to take a little while to get done up, but yeah. Let's just get this bad boy up and going a little bit.
So let's just try to get everything to level 5. Nice and quick. Because that's what's going to help us out. Help us be as quick and effective as possible. So I think level 6. Yeah, so actually no, level 6 is the highest we can get stuff without having to worry about using speed ups. There we are. Then we can just go down here and see what we have here. Let's increase these bad boys for a little bit so we can help our soldiers heal. Oh wait, okay. So it's, it's a little different for some of these. So that's level 5. Okay, I see what's going on. So level 5 for the... Uh, okay, so, we, uh, um, uh, so for the hospitals, it's only level 5 before you have to use speed-ups. So you can get these done fairly quickly. All the way to level 5. These bad boys. Uh, only level... You, can, you can't go past level 3 without having to use speed ups on these, sadly. That's level 5, that's level 7, that's level 12. Well, that's the pass we can get. There we go. Got some, some more yum yums. <laughs> claim that and claim that. Beautiful. Now, not all of these have to be upgraded. Some of these you can just uh, work alongside with them. So that's level 1. That's level 2. That's level three. Level four. Actually, wait, no, this is already level five. Okay, I see. Okay, I see. Now we have to use, uh, uh, 15. There we go. So barracks can only be level 5 until you have to uh, start using speed up. Got ourselves some predators, some cute wolfies. We got ourselves some uh, some more crystals, which is nice. Got ourselves some cute wolfies. We got ourselves some uh, those guys and these guys. Alright. This is a fighter camp, shooter camp. Driver camp. Promotional barracks. Okay. Now let's see if anything has to be upgraded. We can do this. And we can use these. Alright. Now we can upgrade these bad boys. Oopsies. Oh, weird. Eh, screw it. I'll use some diamonds. And now, all our soldiers are at max level. Alright. So now, we can go see what we have here. Train a whole bunch of these soldiers. Train all of these. Delicious. And we, uh, let's see. Now, we, we, um, we, we don't have to, to, to worry about that. Uh, let's go over here to our town center and see if we can get this sped up a little bit. Because the speed ups are the, annoying, are the most annoying part. Yeah, we just used everything we had for that. 
But now we only have 17 hours left. What's the requirement to unlock Shadow Tower? I think it's 7 1. Yep, got it. Alright. So I am learning, guys. I am learning. You just kind of have to get the nuances of the game. So this uh, this building right here is a prestige building. It has a cute wolfie on it. So we click on this. We can see the different kind of missions. I don't like doing the missions that have the guns on them because they always take forever. I always like to do, do the handshakes because you can rescue and you get stuff for it. And these guys arrive almost instantly. Oh, they should. Now this one is grayed out because it is currently in progress. We can rescue this bad boy. Okay, so yeah, these guys are going, going a little quick. Let's take a look at this. There we go. So we actually get 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 ourselves some good stuff, some uh, some soldiers, and we get ourselves some soldiers. Now and then we have ourselves another mission that pops up, which is beautiful. We can just go quickly take care of that. That'll be nice, nice and quick. Mm, delicious. And we could just uh, obtain that. Now there's there's a mission that has like a guy with a hood on it. This is Castle Exploration. We can click on that bad boy. This one's fun because you can start these battles instantly. And for me, so take a look at the upper right, upper right corner of the screen, guys. There's a little thing that shows five holes with a little star in the center. You click on that, it says Faction Halo. And, and depending on how many soldiers you have... So, when deploying three soldiers of the same faction, all allies will gain an, an attribute bonus. Attack 10% and health points 10% uh, additional. When deploying three heroes of the same faction and two heroes from a different faction, all allies will gain an additional bonus. Attack 15% plus and health points 15% plus. When deploying four heroes of the same faction, all allies will gain an attribute bonus. Attack 15% plus. And health points attack, uh, sorry, health points plus 20%. When deploying five heroes of the same faction, all allies will gain an additional bonus, attribute bonus, attack 25%, and health points 25%. So that is why I have all my stuff built into these bad boys. And this will be quick. I love that cute wolfie. I want to get that wolf snuggles and smoochies. Now, I don't usually always to take. I don't usually always do these battles because they're really annoying, and you have to heal your soldiers after. But it, it's fairly simple, and I'll show you guys how it works. You want to pick your you pick your top best commanders for that. It's a level seven feral beast. Really easy to do. We, we go ahead and attack that because it's right next to us. Super easy to take care of. Plus also these feral beast ones take forever to get to. I like it how your soldiers splay out in like a cool formation. Kind of derpy for the animation, but it's still interesting for it nevertheless. My soldiers have returned. Now we can go over here and see all the good stuff that we got. So we got a field battle report. Let's click on that. Delicious. We only lost eight soldiers, which is really good. And we have the event. Feral Beast Bounty. Delicious. And now, we're just going to wait for the rest of these to recycle. Now, as you guys can see, we got ourselves a lot more goodies. These are Starlight Statues. These allow, these allow us to upgrade the level of our people. We're going to, going to use our Luxury Resource Chest. We're going to use this bad boy. We're going to use this bad boy. We're going to use this bad boy. This is a Superior Resource Chest. And now we are. We got ourselves a lot more yum-yums. Just so you guys know, for the Beast Fossil, 
uh, you have to get your uh, town center up to level 15 first. So it's going to be a little while before we, we can get some cute creatures at our disposal. But don't worry, guys. Uh, we can uh, we, we can work our way up to that. And uh, like I said, guys, uh, you see how the hospitals are glowing now? That means we have soldiers that need to be healed. We need a total of seven. I mean, eight soldiers. Super simple. And they're all back in the running. And as you guys can see, we grew quite a substantial amount of power uh, when uh, you guys saw me go on the upgrade spree. By the way, depending on your level, you get more free times today. And that will pop up pretty quickly. So... Uh, the Abyssal Fortress, you can do the Shadow Tower. What the Shadow Tower does is that that allows us to attack certain floors of enemies. Unfortunately, guys, we just aren't going to go not going to be, be, be able to pass these for a little bit. But, as you guys can see, we are getting our stuff, uh, set up. So, we're going to be in a better place very shortly. But yeah, as you guys can see, all our stuff is leveled up to pass a point where we can't really, uh, well, this is Marketplace level 1. Okay. So level 3, no, this is level 4 now, so level 4, level 5. That's level 9. This is level 1. Okay, so we can actually upgrade these a little bit. And get our power up. That's level 5. That's level, level 5. But unfortunately, if we go past level 6... Oh, never mind. Level 6 allows us to get this instantly. Now, what about level 7? Oh, yep, 30 minutes. No, 20 minutes. Let's just get us all taken care of nice and quick. So there's also a thing called a Q boost. And if you click on this, you can uh, unlock all formations to apply boost formation. And what this will do is that this will do a certain percentage boost of all of them at once. And that's kind of cool, actually. Now let's see if we we can get we can we can uh, attack a uh... ah butt pickles we can't win it that sucks well let's go go over here and let's do a oh battle log oh let's see what this looks like ah butt lumps we lost now let's go go to quick occupy okay and let's just grab as many of these as we can. Oh, wait, we are already in there. Okay, beautiful. Step out and save the current gathering progress. When the mine is reset, the duration of stay will be cleared and the... Okay. So... Okay, so uh, let's do step out, so that way we can get our stuff. So currently gathering. So we, I don't think they're expecting you to stay in the game for five hours with the phone screen on to get your stuff. So I think we should be good. Should be uh, set. Uh, all right. Now let's go. To, let's go over here and see what we got. So let's use all of these. And we got five million. Uh, or is that five million? It looks like five million. Let's see if we can upgrade our upgrade, upgrade our peeps. Layuba. Oh, beautiful. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. Oh, you have to get hero star level two. That's okay. 
So now she's going to be a little more effective to us. Let's, let's get, get, get Mirror leveled up because she's going to be more useful to us. Because uh, she needs going to need, need to survive a little bit longer. Ah, okay. So we unfortunately ran out. But we can upgrade her skills a little bit and get ourselves a bit more, a bit stronger. Now, if you guys... Now, here's the thing, guys. Whenever you get medals and stuff, uh, you can use those to upgrade your skills. And even if you don't use the soldiers, you always want to upgrade those skills so that way when they become better later on and more useful, you can do that. That actually looks kind of cool. Now, Layuba, uh, you know, we need a little bit more of, of our uh, stuff. But, yeah, as you guys can see, we're, we're getting some stuff, getting uh, our... Ugh. So, you see the, this, uh, the, the, uh, this bump up arrow? These use Starlight statues. And you need a certain amount of these per level, per tier up, to, get the, um, to uh, upgrade them. And then for the XP, or these little XP books that you get, that is how many you need to upgrade your, your soldiers. I mean, upgrade your, uh, your peeps. Now, let's keep going to the right, and I'll see if we can get another option. Okay, no, not yet. Oh, here we are. So you see this skill right here, if we hit upgrade, you guys will see that these uh, can use the excess metals that we get, sorry, metals that we get when we release commanders. So upgrade re uh, requirements have been met, so we can actually upgrade these. So now her skill is level 5. That allows her to do do uh, to do more damage that way. Like I said, guys, we're, we're not going to be, be using her for some time, but it's good to have these set up just in the off chance anything happens. So now this guy uh, has a uh, campaign level up, 330 to 440. So now he is a bit stronger, and he is effective as a team. Look at this, look at this cute wolfie. I, I want to give this wolf snuggles. Look at the cute little paw. He playing by this little paw. And then we have this big old scary boy. But yeah, so you just, you know, do, do a quick little, little scan through of your guys' stuff. So that way you can uh, see all that you have. Oh, this guy actually looks kind of cool. Oh, here we go. This bad boy needs to get his skills upgraded. Like I said, guys, uh... Even though these commanders are not going to be, be used too much. That's a big slobbery gross bear. You look kind of cool though. And there we go. Because you're still going to you know, be able to use these commanders for other passive tasks. So you always want to give them every chance they can get at success. There we go. Now we got those leveled up. And we're getting ourselves lots of lots of really good re rewards. So in a short 28 minutes, I was able to show you guys some of the really cool stuff uh, that you can do quickly to level up your heroes. Boop, boop, boop. And within a, within that short time as well, guys, I was able to level up a substantial amount of my stuff. Now, this bad boy needs to be uh, finished up. Oh, wow. It's still going to take a while. All right. So, we're, we're just going gonna, to gonna continue to, to train some more of these beautiful, beautiful wolfies. Look at these adorable wolfies play around. Yeah, so um, all these guys have their own animations as well. This game has some really cool animations to it. If I saw, like, a werewolf on a quad, I would laugh and also be like, oh, crap. <laughs> That's funny. 
Oh, I see. The reason why, why, why these guys keep popping up is because we keep rescuing them. So this is free soldiers we don't have to worry about. Oh, 45 minutes. Yeesh, screw that. Can I add these on? Oh, that's stupid. Oh, you never know. There we go. And then upgrade these bad boys. This will take 15 minutes. So, yeah. Speed ups are going to be a real big problem to deal with as you get to the higher levels, guys. So you're just going to have to uh, sadly deal with that. Which is very frustrating. By the way... Oh, we can recruit another one. Delicious. So, now we got Mag Magpie, Maggie, or whatever the heck they are. I believe she is, uh, no, she's this guy. Uh, where are you? Where are you? No. Oh. Well, yeah, you can upgrade your stuff. Now, what, uh, what we can do is we go over to the promotional barracks. There we are. Promote. And, you know, we don't want to do one hour. We just want to do five minutes. And then just quickly finish that up and call it good. Now, we, we, we got ourselves level fours and level, uh, tier three and tier four soldiers. Obtain three almond rewards. Sounds good to me. So what you can do is that you, you guys can, can go down this list, the main tasks, or do the daily tasks, and give yourself various rewards. Next to goody, 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 goodnesses. So, defeat a reaper, or complete 12 prestige tasks, or perform alliance help, or... Let's do defeat a reaper. Reapers are pretty simple to get. Wow, that person's been burning for days. Let's murder this guy. Let's do a five minute. And let's get all these guys. See that if, if we can, uh, can win that. It's a level eight, so it might be more difficult for us, but, you know, we can get that taken care of. So right now we are in one of the uh we are uh in a uh farmers guild right now. Uh so there's there's a APO and then there's capital APO I think. And uh so right now I am oh uh, right now I am in their farmers guild because I am a small too small a level. But that's okay. I am leading in contribution Super freaking quick. I mean, hi. Like, I am destroying it in contributions. But this will help me in the long run. <laughs> Can I actually replace the leader? Uh, no, he's 1.8 million. And I am... Oh, wow. So I... Okay, so I'm not one of the biggest people here. So obviously, until I can get bigger than most of these people... Uh... That's not gonna work. But that's really funny that I can, re I can replace the leader. Uh, we're not gonna do that because I want to remain on good, you know... Uh, good terms with my peeps, but I just found that kind of funny. But yeah, so starting at the very bottom, you can do a secret realm fight, 
Now you can see all the different stuff that you guys can do. Sadly, we are not registered in any of these, so we can't do anything with that. Uh, you can figure that more out. The leader is very lazy and doesn't say anything. Okay, that's funny. That's really funny. That's really funny. The leader is very lazy and doesn't say anything. What the heck? Why the sweet Billy Joe is going on here? That's funny. I think you actually have to fight the leader to replace them. But, uh, yeah, uh, that's actually kind of funny. The leader is very lazy and doesn't say anything. What the heck? That's really funny. I, I don't agree with that, but I just find that really funny. <laughs> okay, let's go go back to our uh, to our uh, freaking uh, thingy, our uh, uh, the thingy. So if you if we if we click on the city, we can go not currently in control of any city. So sadly, we can't do anything with them. We can do the territory. And so you can must teleport your city to Alliance territory to enjoy the territory bonus. Teleport. Go teleport. Uh Wow, that's a solid chunk away, isn't it? So that means I'm gonna have wow, some of these people do have alternative accounts. So what I'm gonna gonna do is uh in one in one minute, uh, uh, teleport myself over here then, because I I need the uh, the benefits. So uh, we can go to the store, and this is the alliance store, and alliance contribution is one hundred seventy five thousand. Now the, these peace shields are awkward. I wish you could stack them, but you can get eight of these bad boys. Now. Because if you could stack them, I'd just use them whenever I can. Because I want to stay permanently shielded until I know the actual dangers of this area. But as you guys can see, we have the Alliance stock. And then we have... We can't do item recall. So we can see all the cool stuff that I can take a look at. Oh wait, I only have 175,000. So let's uh let's do uh speed ups. Oh, really? Okay, fine. Screw you too. I guess I can't do that. Then uh the gift thingies, these little gift thingies is uh the the uh the reaper loot. And what happens is that when you kill a reaper, you get a get stuff. The tech is where you can go over here and, you know, contribute to help you, the, the guild uh, grow and become better. So, did we... Oh, we lost. Ah, butt pickles. Oh, butt turds. Oh, butt lumps. Ah, uh, because we're, we're, we're going to teleport over here. Teleport. Uh, okay. There we go. Now we are, uh, in the, in the Alliance territory, and that will give us more of a chance to get more yum-yums. So, unfortunately, we're gonna have to have a pretty... Okay, good. 573. Okay, good. Okay. So heal. This will take a few minutes. Four minutes? Screw it. We're just doing five minutes. Shabam. All healed up. Back up and running. Now. We don't got nothing for this, sadly. What we can do is go over here and heal ten soldiers. There we go. We just healed and healed our, healed our soldiers. So, in these, these battle reports, I'll show you.
awesome. Okay, so you get mobility back sometimes when you uh, lose something. Uh, battle report. So uh, there's going to be below things that pop up on the side, on the left. So if you, you see the severely wounded ones, severely wounded soldiers must be taken to the hospital for healing. Those who can't be healed will die. Lightly wounded soldiers temporarily lose their power, but will automatically recover after returning to the territory. So, as far as I know, I didn't like lose any soldiers but we actually put up a pretty heavy uh, fight though we killed way more than way more of theirs than they did of us didn't we uh I don't know uh but uh yeah uh we actually uh Put, put up a good fight, though. As far as I know, we didn't lose anything. Uh, no, we're looking good. We, we can uh, take, take a look at these, pu these uh, happy wolfies here. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Uh, wow, it's already 41 minutes long. But, uh, yeah, I just kind of wanted to show you guys some of the cool stuff that we get to work on. Oh! We can actually upgrade these bad boys. Okay. Quantity. Okay. So we want to get these leveled up. So that way we can uh, get more stuff. This is level 4 right now. Level 5. Level 6 is where you... Uh, no, so level 5 is the maximum... That you can get this. Uh, you can get the training grounds before you have to use speed up. So we don't have any Q boosts, unfortunately. But we we did we did get a solid chunk of stuff upgraded, so our stuff is looking better and better. Uh. So we have uh, three different barracks. There you go. One, two, three. I love the uh, the character models they have for these. Oh, construction complete. Awesome. Reach a total of 180,000 building power. Boom! Got some yum yums. Can we speed this up? No, we can't. But we got ourselves another recruit. We got Morozov. Now we can go over to here and see Morozov. Hello, Morozov. How you doing, buddy? You're a big old creepy boy, ain't ya? Big old creepy boy. The one, the one I, I eventually want to get is Gorky, cause he actually looks really cool. And Yelena, super speedy. Looks like she can actually do a decent amount of damage. And then we have Kozlov. So yeah, uh, as you guys can see, we are getting some really cool stuff on the way. Yelena and Gorky are going to be very difficult to get. But, but so far we have uh, Ivan and Yuri. And I think Lyuba might be the best. Uh, so we have four legendaries, and then a couple, I mean, we have four, uh, yeah. Yeah. So what we're going to do is go over here and see if we, nope, we can't. 
So what we can do is quickly just check over here, see our menu, see if we got anything extra. No, we did not, but we we did get a did a, we did get some more uh, crystals, uh, some diamonds. So diamonds are all set. Boosts are expensive, so I don't really want to do anything with those. Um. Alright, but yeah, we can actually afford the most expensive item on there, but we're just going to, going to want to keep our stuff, so that way, uh, if anything really big comes up, we can uh, be saved up for that. So, level 8 of 25... I wish that we you know we could get this, you know, currently this bad boy is at level 12, and as soon as we can get this level 15, we can uh, un un unlock the bestiary or the beast center, and when we unlock the beast center, we're going to be, be able to get some really cool stuff underway. Actually, let's focus on our walls. I just realized we haven't upgrade upgraded our walls. There we go. Now our walls are going to be upgraded a bit. But yeah, as you, as you guys can see, we have the entire area unlocked now. No more having to get rid of stuff or no more having to, you know, uh, get more stuff. But it's a really cool way that the game shows you the stuff that you can work on. So this is event center. This is a guardian statue. This is the hero tavern. Okay, so this is kind of, kind of stuff we can just. This, these are kind of like the utilitarian buildings that just allow us to keep track of crap. This guy, we're gonna actually have him moved over here. Oh, it's a bulletin board. Oh, fascinating. Okay, so the bulletin board actually allows us to keep track. And so we can go, uh... Come on. So the bulletin board actually allows us to keep track of the community. So we can go to our Instagram or the Discord or the Facebook. We can uh, do the... Moderator recruitment. Game moderators are ordinary players who will help new players get familiar with the game faster. They are not professional customer service staff and will not be online all the time. Please be patient while waiting for a reply. Game moderators are just volunteers. They are not game officials. Please don't disclose any private information to them. Blah, 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 blah. And blah. You can also do customer support or game info. So this is actually some, some kind of kind of cool stuff they can work on. Remove that and remove that. There we are. We're gonna get get our banks shoved over here. Then we're we're gonna get these bad boys over here. There we go. I like keeping stuff, you know, organized. There we are. Now stuff looks better. Awesome. I have OCD, guys. I like to keep stuff looking nice. This is a research center. So I think the research center would actually do good with just going right. Here. There we are. This is the, uh, wait, so this is, uh, training grounds. Training grounds can actually go right over here. Uh, 
I got the, 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 the gates, like all my stuff there, because it kind of looks cool. There we are, okay. And there we go. And then for uh, the, the assembly halls, those are pretty simple to do. So this is research. Okay, so research. And then city hall, alliance hall, assembly hall. This bad boy can go right over here. And then we can just put the uh, other hall. This will be the be, be the hall of halls to make stuff look nice. There we are. This bad boy is just gonna gonna be in the center. Somewhere around here. This bad boy is the research center. We're just gonna show him right over here. These are actually mana refineries. Oh, by the way, guys. We, uh, so you see how how we have this right now. We are not making e um, enough prosperity. So we can research r resources to the mana refinery. So you always want to try to get as much as you can. So we click on this. We got that. We can transport these. And we can transport these. And as you guys can see, our prosperity jumped substantially. Oh, hello lightning. How you doing? So territory prosperity increased production rate current prosperity two hundred twenty eight dollars two hundred twenty eight percent uh mana supply matches rate of use normal supply and can supply mach uh matches rate of use normal sorry cash supply matches rate of use normal efficiency so now we are getting ourselves a bit better. But let's also click on the, on the little, little question mark, and I'll show you. Prosperity. Prosperity is evidence that your territory is thriving, and the territory prosperity will affect your development. One, your territory's prosperity will affect your resource production rate. Your territory's prosperity depends on the supply of mana and cash. Prosperity will be affected when buildings are completed, as they will begin consuming mana and cash. When the resources are in short supply and the production of mana and cash is less than that is required to maintain the buildings, prosperity will fall below 80%, and the production rate will decrease. When the supply and demand of resources are balanced and the consumption of mana and cash is equal to production, prosperity stays at, a, at about 80%, and all production rates remain normal. When resource supplies exceed demand and the production of mana and cash is greater than that rate is required to maintain the building's prosperity, those will increase to more than 100%, and the production rate will be at full power. God, blow my freaking nose, man. There we go. I can breathe again. Yay. So right now, as you guys can see, uh, our prosperity is huge right now. And that's really big for us. But we, we want to keep these bad boys uh, going. So usually what you want to do is upgrade your lowest buildings first. Because those would be the cheapest and easiest to get.
And let's see if there is any research that we can do. We, I want to do troop strengthening. So let's just start upgrading these bad boys and get these uh, all set up. Now let's boost these bad boys and get ourselves set. Oh, look at that. We, 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 we got ourselves a day test. Completed. And we got ourselves some yum-yums. Awesome. How long has this video been going? Oh my gosh, 56 minutes. And as you guys can see, I've been working almost non-stop at getting my stuff upgraded. So you guys can see how quickly time can be uh, used getting all this. I don't know. I like how, how clean and organized things are now. Because I know that, 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 that there's going to be, be more buildings popping up. And I want to have a bestiary next to this bad boy. Now, I don't remember what, what crystals themselves are used for. But, you know, it, it works. Oh, wait. I... Oh, wait. Town center, yeah. Boost the town center. Get that bad boy going as quick as we can. Uh, but yeah. You can also pick your avatars. And as you guys can see, out of all the wolfies and stuff I got, I have the super awesome wolf. But I don't know, I really like this wolfie though. Uh, Sakharov, very, very cute wolfie. Very adorable. But I have Yuri, because he's a, he's a really good father. And he cares about his kid. So a badge of glory can be exchanged for rewards during the event. Sure. But which one is the badge of glory? Bleh. All right. So before this video gets too long, guys, I'm gonna just uh, see what we got here. All right, we got ourselves some more uh, some more stuff. Quick boost. Use that, and we're all set. Uh, but yeah, as uh, as you guys can see, uh, this kind of gives you guys a little bit of an insight on how everything works. The city hall, you can uh, put your garrison in there, and what, the, and what the garrison does is that this will allow you to get bonuses and stuff. As you guys, as you guys can see, we have 20 out of 20. But uh, as you guys can, uh, but you guys can see is that uh, uh, all of these heroes are giving uh, are giving us bonuses and really good stuff. That's helping us substantially. I'm gonna hit the, the minus on all of them so I can show you guys how this works. So, right now, uh, Layuba costs 5 leadership, and we have a total of 20. But she will give us troop, water, and cost reduction. And then we want to get the uh, Sarkhanov, or so how do you say the name, increases hourly cash production by 800. And then uh, we got uh, Ivan, heal cost is reduced by 4%. Troop food cost reduction is 9% by Mira. Uh, Vincent gives us train number of increased uh, by, by 80. Oh, butt lumps. Oh, you cost 3, don't you? Okay. Oh, I see how that works. City Hall, Hero County. You can quickly assign heroes to be garrisoned in the city and let them go to work. Membership, leadership. Garrison heroes requires leadership. When leadership reaches its max, no more heroes can be garrisoned. Garrison skills. Heroes with passive garrison skills will activate them when garrisoned. So, what I need is production. So, 
crystal production, and then water production. There we go. So we're at four so far. Let's do... Uh, water... Let's do a training cost... I mean, not cost, but like training uh, ability increased. Let's do heal cost reduced. Now let's do troop water cost reduction or troop food cost reduction. 16% though, so we're going to do that. So now we have 20 out of 20. So yeah, uh, you can uh, weigh out the options of what you want. And the better you get your guy, you get yourself set, the better. And then every time you upgrade your... Uh, you Every time you upgrade this bad boy, you can... Uh, um, get a little bit more, um, leadership caps. So, getting this, this bad boy all the way to level 25, you can get 100 leadership in there. That's pretty darn good. Uh, the Alliance Hall allows you to, allows you, uh, you to help people, or you can, uh, dispatch soldiers to, to aid people. Now this is the assembly hall. You can go to war, and you you, uh, you can rally however many soldiers. So yeah, you can uh, get a decent chunk of stuff set up with that. This is a super investment hall, which gives us cash. And uh, yeah, holy pickles! This video is already one hour and two minutes long. But yeah, you, you, uh, you guys can kind of see how all this stuff works out. And the more that we upgrade, the better we're, we're going to do. The game gets a little grindy, but that's okay. Uh, sometimes, you know, if you're free to play, uh, like me, then it just takes a little while. But don't worry, guys. If anything substantial happens or anything that is worthwhile happens, I'll make sure to let you guys know of anything else that may come up. But so far, these bad boys are looking great. I'm very, very happy with this. So let's just do another battle just to see if we can get anything else. We did better that time, but we still lost. That's, uh, so unfortunate, guys, that just ain't gonna work. But, uh, we tried... Uh, we are close to getting, to getting ourselves some more re some more rewards. We already got our quest bonus, but we can get a little bit more of that. And we, we already got our quick quest. I don't want don't want to waste stuff on that. But uh, as you guys can see, we have cleared a lot of chapters, like a lot of chapters, because we have grown pretty well and then we can go to this bad boy the uh shadow tower see if we can there's a possibility we can win win win, win with this one so let's put ivan up front and you in there and let's see what we can get uh let's put you on the side so you can be protected yeah so unfortunately guys we just Sadly, can't do it. But, uh, yeah, we, uh, are holding the line. I mean, we did well considering. Wait a second. I forgot. The different kinds of heroes are for different purposes. You are a tank and a fighter, so you hold the front well. You are a fighter, but you are balanced, so you're a healer. You are a multi-hit person, so you need to be in the back. Uh, Mira is a shooter, so she's better in the back. She's good for support. Uh, Serkinov is a burst driver, and he uh, helps develop. Look at that cute Wolfie. 
I want to give that wolf snuggles. You are a balanced driver and develop. Do we have another tank, though? Oh, we do have a tank. So Lermontov would actually be better for us when it comes to uh, being able to uh, fight. Because we have Mira. But Ivan is a... Oh. Hmm. But he's also a healer, too. Interesting. But yeah, so y you can actually uh, put together a pretty decent amount of... Uh, um, you can actually put together a pretty good band of, uh, a band of heroes uh, that allow you to be effective in the game. And uh, as long as you have them have like your tanks up front or like the fighters up front, the, the people in the back can do damage while helping the front heroes do better. Oh, check this out. If you click on him. Look at that. They, 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 they put on fun little shows for you. This guy uh, does magic. No, no, this guy does magic. This guy's a fighter. That's cool. But yeah. I like the uh, the ambient uh, feel of the game. There is so much territory that still needs to be used. You can turn this into something very, very pretty. For me, I'm not going to waste time doing so just because I'm lazy. But uh, yeah, you can uh, get some really cool stuff on the way. But yeah, um, anyway guys, uh, this has been Sabin Dimitrov, aka Dinst for the Astro Wolf. It has been an absolute pleasure to have you guys here from, from uh, um, for this fun video. I want to thank you guys for, for being so supportive and helping me, uh, I mean, and for, you know, just uh, enjoying the content that I put up. Uh, didn't realize that time goes by so freaking quick when I make videos, but it does. Time goes by quick, so that's just how things are. But, uh, yeah, I'm very, very happy with, uh, how well things have gone so far in, in my games I've been playing. Uh, and, uh, yeah, uh, as you guys can see, we are looking pretty darn good in this, and we got ourselves lots of good stuff to help us progress. And as you guys can see, we have been working on uh, bettering our stuff. So I'm very, very happy with that. And, uh, yeah. Uh, you can uh, get yourself set up. Now, for me, I, um, I want to I wanna boost my, uh, production toward my... Uh, uh, town center, until we can at least get it to level 15, then I'll focus on getting everything else up, because I want to get, um, the town center level 15, because we can get that bestiary. If we go to this little option right here, then we go to development, we go all the way to, see, the beast revival center. Beast revival center is a place to revive all kinds of beast fossils. So, unfortunately, our B, our uh, level 15 town center is not that right now. And we have to go two more levels for this, which kind of sucks pickles, but that's just what we got right now. So, yeah, as things develop, I'll let you guys know and more things are going to happen. And uh, hopefully we can get this bad boy, uh, we can get, get ourselves some beautiful, beautiful fossils. Anyway, guys, this has been Sabine Dimitrov, a.k.a. Dance for the Alistair Wolf. I hope you guys enjoyed my uh, this video. I want to thank you guys for being a part of this and for just being so uh, nice and supportive. Always remember to like, share, and subscribe so that way we can get more and more, uh, more and more goodies, uh, goodness, good, goody, goody, goody gumdrops on our way. So that way we can uh, uh, grow this channel. Because if we can get this bad boy to, you know, look at this guy. This guy plays around with his rifle. Check that out. 
Bam. Whoop, whoop, woo, shabam. <laughs> nice. But yeah, um, if we can get this channel to a thousand subscribers, we can start making some money on these videos. Like I said, guys, I'm not gonna be as exactly regular like like uh, like professional youtubers but we can still you know uh put out a decent chunk of videos uh here and there so they can keep things interesting and like i said guys if you guys can can give me some ideas or stuff to talk about please let me know i can do my research i can let you guys know my opinion about things and you know we can just get stuff all taken care of so anyway guys uh you stay awesome and always remember god bless